Welcome back to another episode of City Skyline. So hopefully we can get this uh, whole system worked on, well, at least this section uh, for today. Uh, we'll have to still probably move a little bit of this and set it up a little bit differently, but um, at the moment a lot of the traffic is turning down that way and it's a little bit slow over here. We might want to increase the size of that roundabout. So. What I probably end up figuring is we'll probably have to move it a little bit over um, when we do clear out this area and we'll be able to set it up a little bit more larger so people aren't turning as sharply around this corner. I think that's actually slowing it down a little bit so we might be able to get away with like a larger corner or something like that. I'm not sure if that will work per se but we can give it a shot. Um, as far as the backup it's about steady at the same amount it hasn't really gone down or up so I'm not too worried about it until we get um, all this part set up and I think a lot of this is going to also be a lot of people actually coming into the city as well so there's going to be new people arriving uh, when we're doing all this district stuff as well so there's that to keep in consideration as well all right so we need to correct connect this tram line up um, I figure what we'll end up doing is we'll probably bring it, uh, let's see here, probably up that way, maybe, and then around, possibly, and then kind of like that, or something. I'm not sure what we're going to be doing with it. Um, yeah, because if we re redesign this whole area here, then we can bring it right through, I guess. That might be an option, and then bring it up to, or under the highway, over into this area, maybe. And we could connect it up through here. Maybe we can do that? I don't know. We'll see what we can come up with for the, the, the line itself. A lot of these roads have bicycle lanes, though, so um, a lot of people are using them. If we zoom in, we can see quite a few bit different people actually using the bicycle lanes, which is great. So, hopefully we can keep that going. Let's go in here and we'll set that up. We'll set a new tram line. Yeah, the roads are a little bit um, not even. I'm going to try to fix that right now. Let's see if we can smooth some of this out.
I got the general layout all set up. I dezoned the entire area so um, I could flatten it and hopefully we'll be able to start getting some industry area. I got a bicycle lane set up this way. Um, the only downside to that is they can't they don't have a direct line through here. Um, we could set up something a little bit more um, to go through here maybe. Um, See if we can't do that. We'll do with trees, I guess. And then it will be a direct line with for bicyclists down to this area. Um, yeah, and then we'll have like a district area over this side, and then we'll probably district over here. Uh, we'll need to change some of this up. I want to unzone some of this. Got rid of our most of our industry area as well, so we could bring that road up to about here. And I'm just going to squeeze that in just a little bit. And we can go to this one. And we can set up the district say probably along this whole area would be fine. Yeah, we'll, we'll probably do that. And I've also added some overpasses for the tram line as well so it doesn't congest traffic. And over here what we'll do is we'll create a separate district. Not sure what we'll put in these two areas just yet, but it'll be a good start. So like that, perfect. All right, so we have Umber Heights and Umber Hills. I'll have to give those a name, something related to trees, um, but we'll go ahead and start zoning some of this area in. Now I'll figure what I'll end up doing is we'll put a bicycle lane um, probably along this particular avenue as well. Uh, might even connect that up under, to go under it. Not sure if we have a old bicycle lane under here. I don't think we do anymore. So we'll see if we can't. What am I looking for? I'm looking for that. We'll set up the a bicycle lane that goes under, I think.
congestion's really bad at the moment, but we just zoned an entire area in, so I'm expecting it to go down in the next few days, probably a couple weeks, uh, for the game. And hopefully that will kind of balance things out once we get the demand a little bit down. Um, at the moment, a lot of people are coming in, as you can see here. There's tons of people coming into the city, so... Uh, once this gets, like, kind of brought down a little bit more, then we'll, we won't we will need to worry about it as much. But, um, next thing that I want to tackle is basically getting the industry area all sorted out. So we're going to need to move that, but before we can do that, we need a place to put it. And that's going to be easier said than done, tell you the truth. So we're going to need to, like, unzone all, or not unzone, but, like, move or delete a lot of these buildings so we can get a lot of this stuff sorted out. And then we need to place them all back again when we have this area flattened and everything. So um, I figure what we'll do is we'll make sure that the connection isn't to the main city. That way they're forced to use the highway that we built. Although we do need to fix some of this up because they're cutting over like in the other intersection that we had. So let's pause the game and we'll try to fix that right now. We'll need to um, try to get that a little bit sorted out. So people can not need to worry about getting to their locations. So this one should go here for sure. And then there should be a junction that goes under, I think. So let's see if we can't set that up quickly. So we'll kind of branch this out. Uh, let's see here, maybe a two-lane one. Let's see if we can't get a curly road. Okay, that's not the greatest road design. We might need a try to get this a little bit more smoother. Just try to go under here again. Like, it works for that part, it's just not really good here. So we'll go up, and then we'll try to connect that up. Yeah, that should be better. And then for this one...
So we got quite a bit of stuff done today. We got the area over here built up. Uh, we still need to build this area a little bit, but it's pretty much good for where it is. I also got uh, the industrial way all set up. So we got all, all that set and uh, we were able to keep our industry area at the, fi the five star one. Uh, put the main building over here on the main road so garbage collection and stuff can easily come here and pick it up. And then we got our sawmills, our paper plants, and our warehouses, as well as our building for the furniture. So we'll probably expand a few things later on. Uh, I, I think I might have deleted the... Uh, warehouse for those items. So I'm going to put that down right now and just set that up. So we'll set it to empty and then we want it to be on unique products. So that should allow them to export to here and then that will be good. So outside of that, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.